guys, I uh, I like to uh, drum on my body, and I thought I'd show you. I think when people drum, there's a tendency to put the hands um, so that the the palm and the bottoms of the fingers are hitting. If I had a pair of drums, I'd, I'd drum like that or on my body. The only one bad thing about that is that it, depending on where your hands are and what you're drumming on, it can kind of twist the tendons in here. And it can be more comfortable to do kind of a karate chop drum. Now, because you won't twist as much. You won't twist around in the wrist. Now, you won't get the volume. This is mostly when I'm just drumming for my own fun and pleasure by myself, which I do some. I largely drum for exercise and just something to do with my hands. Um, because I seem to have a certain amount of energy and when I'm just sitting it's sort of hard to sit still so one of the things I do is drum but and I don't even and it uh, since I won't get the volume I don't know, even know if you'll be would he be even be able to hear me drumming on this video but I can hear it from where I'm at so like if I were to drum Now you can mix in some of this too, but if I do it too long, I can really start to feel the strain up here. So keep it in mind, it's an option. Um, you really can even drum with the back of your hands a little bit. Just to, it's kind of, I think it's because these muscles all res will respond a little better too if you kind of vary, if you kind of um, don't do the same exact motion every time. Um, but this is pretty nice. To not twist, so keep that in mind. Um, so I do think it's for me. It's sort of about finding the most natural placement of the hands that doesn't hurt. Now I had my hands off the armrest. If I go up here, it's kind of a curled under with the hands to drum. But that starts to strain in here and in here, so I naturally take it down. Now here it's uh, kind of natural to drum with the fingertips. That's the least twist, but that starts to actually hurt up in here. So another option, of course, is to be moving your hands around as you drum. Um, That, if that starts to hurt, then you can move down. You can make a fist for a bit to drum, but that starts to hurt up in the upper arm. Yeah, guys, I I should also say a couple more things. One is that I may forget to put something in this video. So if I forget, I may put it in the notes under the video, or I may make a subsequent video. So look for that or watch for those. That, those. Um, also, 
my video, since I'm a small YouTube creator, I've noticed that the YouTube auto shows videos for larger creators in a better focus than for small creators. Um, sometimes create, small creators get 360p, whereas large creators get 480p, p being pixels. Um, yesterday, for the first time, I was seeing my own video in 720 pixels, which is pretty good, but the big creators were getting 1,080 pixels. Anyway, if you want to see my videos in the best focus, and I guess you, you like the content, subscribe, comment, um, rate, etc. I um, I may as well say um, that when you're doing this, um, this kind of drumming that I was describing where you're sort of doing karate chop, it can feel a little weird to your hands. Um, it's hard to describe, but it's a little kind of a numbing sort of feeling. Maybe your hand's just not used to being struck here on the side, and it feels a little weird here on your pinky too. Um, and some people may not like that weird feeling, so they wouldn't do it. Um, but to me, that's better. This actually starts to hurt my wrist after a little while because the tendons, I think, the tendons, I think, are twisted. And so they start to hurt. This can sometimes be a nice alternative. Now, of course, you can't get the volume. You can't hit this so hard that you're going to get as big a volume as if you do this. So it's like I say, for me, it's kind of when I'm just drumming, sitting around for myself just because I enjoy something to do with my hands or I, it's kind of practicing drumming and I enjoy the sound of it. I can hear it even though it's not making much noise and I enjoy the musical nature of it. Um, so that's important to remember. Um, do um, let's see. I was trying to watch there. I know that I've hit other times with my body when I'm in some other position where the most uh, comfortable way for the hands to drum, just based on the different angles that different body positions put the arms and hands in might not be what you think is obvious um, and again you probably have to I am thinking about what's most comfortable not necessarily what produces a lot of volume um, but this is a bad example but if I were drumming here this might produce the most volume but that starts to hurt the wrist um, whereas this doesn't produce quite as much volume, but I can do it a little longer. Although that starts to hurt here too. Usually I find that I'm kind of mixing it up um, and moving around. It's because a lot of different positions start to hurt after a, a while and you have I have to go to a different position. Um, I can even drum up here um, or on my face. Um, but if you're interested in being able to drum, even though you're not necessarily making as much volume, um, look for that most comfortable position. It may feel funny and it may be unusual. You may think, I never saw someone drum like this before with their hands like this. But if it feels better, so what if no one else has ever done it? Um, what you want is to feel, I mean, you're just doing, it's for recreation that you're drumming, so you want to feel good and enjoy it. So um, I'd look for that most comfortable hand position. Now for performing like in public with a group, that would probably be a different subject. Um, 
and I don't do that. I don't know much about it. Uh, when I've seen guys playing the bongos, it's always it's been with their hands flat on the bongos. It hasn't been this karate chop thing. But for my purposes here, it's kind of cool to just vary to look for the hand position that's most comfortable to change up when it becomes uncomfortable, etc. And and have fun and hand exercise is really good exercise the more you are i mean it burns calories and when you exercise your hands and drumming is just one way you get a lot of dexterity i would think too if you actually did go to drum in public even if you didn't use the karate chop all that practice you've done when you were just playing for yourself at home in for fun and you might have been karate chopping, you'll be able to use the knowledge and experience that you got from that when you're publicly drumming, even though you're not using the same hand positions. Um, so it's pretty good and it's been fun for me. Um, but yeah, you might have to be, if you're not intending to drum, oh, officially, so to speak, um, then you might have to find reasons that you want to drum when you're just by yourself. I, I've shared mine for you and they may work for you or you may find other reasons, but um, I hope this video is helpful. I mean, yeah, you can also drum as you walk, you can drum on your hips, your stomach, um, your butt, but they all get sore for me after a little bit. Like if I'm drumming on my butt, I can only do it a little while. And then my left hand is starting to get sore. So I might shift back to the hips. That might get sore after a while. So I shift up. Um, but I don't have anything against keeping my hands in the same place and position for a long time as long as they don't start hurting. So it's or an orientation towards feeling as good as possible. Yeah, I should say, guys, you, if you drum on your butt, you can do it with your hands facing this way. But if that starts to hurt, you also have an option to do it with the backs of your hands. You won't get as much volume, but it relax. It'll use different tendons in the. Uh, hands and it may it may give you a little pain relief like I've been describing I mean every it seems to me I could be wrong it seems to me that every position starts to hurt after a while after some period of time usually a short period of time but again it's the idea that you have you have lots of options playing with your hands drumming with the backs of your hands like I just showed you also feels kind of strange and you might not like that feeling it doesn't it'll relieve the pain maybe of having the hands face the other direction or relieve it for a little while and then then it'll start hurting too but it, it feels a little strange kind of like I was saying karate chopping feels a little strange but if it relieves the pain and you can keep drumming, it seems to me it's fine. It works for me. It might not for you. I should also say that I, uh, I've really gotten into hand exercising and I have a number of other videos about different exercises you can do with your hands. And when I have free time, I just do a lot of different kinds of exercises with the hands, walking them around, drumming, um, and other things um, and it's fun and it's good exercise it burns calories it makes your, you stronger um, particularly your hands will get stronger I guess but the hands are important in life um, and you get dexterity um, and it feels kind of good to move your hands I find um, 
It also seems to make me more skillful in how I use my whole body, maybe because the hands, the whole body's connected and the way you use one body part, if you can use that one body part more um, gracefully, I guess, or with a better awareness of how to position the hands, it'll probably help you use the rest of the body better. Um, you'll understand positioning better and how to use, well, a lot of times you're using your hands in force, not necessarily violence, but you're, anytime you're moving something or pushing something or pulling something, you're using a kind of force. And when you can use your hands better, you understand force in general better and you can use your other body parts better. Um, I mean, you get more ambidexterity where you can use your left and right hand. Um, you can use both hands better instead of just having one hand. I kind of practice ambidexterity anyway. I often will try to use my bad hand to do something. If I go to reach for a tool and the tool is closer to my left hand, which is not as good as my right hand, then I'll try not to transfer the tool to my right hand. I'll try to just use it with my left hand and see if I can make it work. Uh, and that could be a separate video. But anyway, hand exercises in general are good and drumming's good.